What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Super excited to be bringing you guys today's video in which we bring you guys my first ever Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet VGC Double Battles video. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a team that I made for myself, which I feel like has some of the best ranked Pokemon on it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my rank battles videos. We're going to be starting making teams, going to be starting getting some rental codes and bringing you guys tons of different content. And speaking of rental codes, if you guys have rental codes and want me to play them on my YouTube channel, leave them in the comment section down below or go ahead over to my Twitter page. Link is down in the description below. Go DM me, go tweet at me over there and send me your guys' rental codes because I'm looking for some strong teams to use on the casual slash rank ladder and make videos with. So again, if you guys are interested, head to my Twitter or leave me a comment down in the comment section down below. But yeah, this team right here consists of some very strong Pokemon for this uh, rank battles. We got Skeletor, we got Palmot, Baxcalibur, Grimstarl, Scizor, and Gyarados. And I just feel like all these guys are going to be super strong in the meta as of right now. But you guys are probably thinking like, yo, Jeans, why don't you have some of the legendaries, some of like the future or ancient Pokemon? And that's because I feel like they are going to get banned very soon. Some of them are super OP. Some of them are super broken. So I feel like once the game starts to balance out, they're going to uh, ban those Pokemon. And then these Pokemon are going to be staying in the top tier category. So that's why I made a team like this. I didn't want to make a team that was just going to get banned. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it and uh, like it up. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Start off in that top left corner. We have the one and only Skeletor over here. And I really like Skeletor for competitive play. I just feel like it is a nice bulky Pokemon and it learns a great pool of movesets. It's got Blaze. It's got the Assault Vest as item. Then we got Snarl for special attack drops. Shadow Ball for stab. Torch Song for signature stab move. Plus that special attack boost. And then we got Overheat for our big heavy hitting move. Second Pokemon is going to be Palma over here, and Palma is a really cool Pokemon. I was looking for a fake out user on the team and a little bit of an attacker, and Palma fit this spot perfectly. It's got Volt Absorb, and we gave it the Focus Sash as item. Then it's got its brand new move, which is going to be Revival Blessing. And if you guys do not know what that does, you can legit revive a Pokemon that has already died in your party. So say Baxcalibur is dead. Maybe he died to a Dragon Call from a Garchomp. Palma can come out there, use Revival Blessing, which you, you can only use once per battle, revive the Bax Caliber to half HP and have him for future play, which is really, really good. So hopefully we get to showcase it off and use Palma to its fullest potential. It's other three moves for close combat, fake out and bolt switch to pivot out. Middle left is going to be Bax Caliber, the new pseudo legendary for this generation. And this Pokemon's attack stat is through the roof. Super, super strong. You definitely got to watch out for these guys right here. It's got Thermal Exchange as his ability, so when it gets hit by a fire move, its attack stat will boost. And also on top of that, he cannot be burned, which is so big for a physical attacker like him. We gave him the clear amulet as its item, so its stats can't be changed. And then move set is going to be Dragon Call, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Grimstarl. If you guys watch my Sword and Shield videos, you guys know that I absolutely love this Grimstarl support set. And the reason I'm using it in this game is because I think it's going to be even better without the Dynamax format. It's got Light Screen, it's got Reflect, it's got Spirit Break and Thunder Wave, and then it's got the Light Clay and Prankster as its item and ability. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Scissor, and Scissor is just a beast without the Dynamax format. Really good Pokemon all around, so I threw him on the scene. It's got Technician, it's got the Life Orb as item, and then it's Rocket Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Sword Stance, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Gyarados over here. I just felt like we need an Intimidate Pokemon on the team, and we need a Water Typing, and Gyarados just fit it perfectly. It's got Intimidate, like I already mentioned, and then the Lumberry as item. Waterfall, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Protect for its moveset. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner and I will be leaving it down in the description below. But without further ado, let's hop on that ladder, look to get some wins with our first ever doubles VGC Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet team. So guys, we're loading up for battle number one and we are looking to grab ourselves a win here. I've been playing a little bit on the casual ladder considering rank does not come out till December 1st and a lot of people have really good teams like look at this right here these people are rocking some really cool Pokemon and some really good teams so we're gonna still have some really good battles for you guys this guy's got Torkoal he has the future Hariyama that I forget his name he's got the ancient uh mischievous first stage I forget that Pokemon's name and then he's got Salamence Oranguru and Lilligant over here so he has the Sun combo with the Lilligant and the Torkoal and then I know that those future and ancient Pokemon are really strong with their abilities so I got to watch out for them, but I really don't know what I have to watch out for. But how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like either leading like Palmot or Grimstarl could be really good because we can either fake out or set up screens. And hmm, I want to fake out. I might want to fake out Termo. I mean, if he sets Sun, what could I do here? Sun could be a pain. Sun could definitely be a pain. Maybe I should just go in Skeletor. I'm thinking Palmot here. Actually, I'm leaning a bit more towards Grimstarl. I feel like screens are just so good. 
Actually, let's go Palm out here. Let's start off with a nice little fake out. I could get a Dragon Ants rolling. I'm kind of lean towards them. Maybe we want to go with Bax Calibur here. I'm going to go Bax Calibur, throw in our Sun or our Fired Dragon Crocodile thing right there, and then final Pokemon. Maybe just go Gyarados for Intimidate purposes. I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking that a lot. But yo, I've, like I said, I've been playing on this casual ladder a little bit with the scene, and it has just been so much fun. Like, I cannot wait to just constantly be bringing you guys videos when a bunch of rental teams come out and when I can just have a bunch of Pokemon just to flip-flop around and make scene for you guys. But like I mentioned in the beginning, if you guys have rental codes, I would love to get my hands on them. So find a way to go. It's going to end up going in with Sun. I guess I'm cool with that. I mean, Lulukin can put Pokemon to sleep. Um, Palm out, we kind of have to fake out the Torkoal, right? We kind of have to fake out the Torkoal. I feel like that is just our best bet. It's just to fake out the Torkoal. So I'm not dealing with a, uh... I cannot deal with a, uh... I cannot deal with a, a, a an eruption in the sun. And I knew the sleep out of us coming across. That's just a dang shame. Maybe I should throw out Gyarados. Gyarados could be good with the Lumberry there. It's so tough, man. I hate this game. Uh, do I... Do I go with the terrestrialization here? No, because uh, he's not going to wake up. There's no shot he wakes up. I think I just, uh, will switch out. And I guess I go for a protect. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to wake up here. One turn wake up. I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's happening. It's going to be a tough call. It's going to be a tough call. But the one problem with these with these casual rank battles is the camera angle is a little weird. Like as you can see, my oh yo, I did wake up. Hold up, wait a minute, yo, your boy's waking up with Baxcalibur. We're able to drop a nice little protect. We can bolt switch out, which is gonna be good. Come on now, we're first game, first video, first battle, and we're just first in a sleep powder abuser. Come on now, that ain't right. That ain't right. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. Good thing we protect there. He's body pressing, not erupting. At any rate, I'm gonna go to sleep again. Dude, he's gonna put me to sleep again. <laughs> I don't know what I do. I I, I, I guess I guess I try to bolt switch out. And I guess I guess I'll go for an ice bank, but he's gonna put me to sleep again. He's gonna go for a charm, but I have the clear amulet. Okay, I'm actually all about that. Paul Mott's gonna be asleep. That's fine. Back Calibur can get off this lovely little ice bank and maybe pick up KO here. Oh, so close. That could have been a big time KO. I'm gonna body press my Paul Mott. I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. Okay, but like I was saying, you know, first battle, all that good stuff. We are playing a sleep powder abuser. Just put my Pokemon to sleep left and right. It's fine. It's fine. We came to play. But we have his uh, little Pokemon down low. He's probably going to put me to sleep again. I might just protect this turn. I can check the uh, the sun info, can I? Yeah, sun, sun's got two more turns. I don't think we, uh, I think we get after him. I think I go straight after him here. Yep, of course. I knew I should have protected. <laughs> Dude, it's so annoying. Three sleep patterns in four turns. Get out of my face with that. Wake up, Palmot. Come on, Palmot. You're better than that. I feel like if there's more sleeps on the field or the more times you've been uh, put to sleep, the less turns it should work. Because this is just obnoxious at this point. It's going to body press me. It's going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. Take some nice damage there. And Palmot should be up here. So I'm just going to go right after you. I think a Volt Switch should be able to pick up the KO, correct? Makes the most sense. Then I can Volt Switch out. He's going to withdraw. That's totally fine. Who are you going to go into from here? Somebody that's not going to take this Volt Switch too good. Maurice. Who's Maurice? This is Maurice. I'm going to Intimidate that Pokemon. That's actually a solid turn from us. I have the clear amulet, so Intimidate won't work. Paul Mott's going to wake up here, and I can roll right into the... Uh, I can roll right into my Gyarados and drop an Intimidate. I think it's a solid turn. Or I could go into Skeletor with the sun rolling. But I just feel like we get a lot off a lot of value with this Gyarados. So let's go into Gyarados here. Send him out. And now we have Bax Calibur. And I think Bax Calibur might go down here. Unless he wakes up, he can get off a hard shot. He can definitely get off a nice hard shot here. There it is. Bax Calibur waking up. Popping a Dragon Ball into you and getting a nice little crit. So solid damage all around. Body press flies. And that takes us out. I'm fine with that. I felt like we really utilized turns with Bax Calibur there. Especially being asleep, like. We got, we got put to sleep twice. Like, what, what more do you want me to do? But I feel like we're sitting in a solid spot here. I could go back out to Palmot. Or I could just go in with Skeletor here. I mean, Palmot might be the play just for another fake out. Or I could Revival Blessing. I'm thinking of doing. Let's do that, yeah. Because Palmot should be able to outspeed. And I feel like if I just go maybe into... I could take out the Torkoal. I could definitely take out the Torkoal. 
What do I go after Salmons? I mean, Salmons is minus one. So I'm just going to take out the Torkoal, and I'm just going to go Revival, Bust, Went, Palmot. And look to get Molin. And he withdraws the Salamence. I'm all about it. Got to go back out in the uh, Logan. I'm all about it. Jeans is thriving here. Jeans is thriving, and he protects. I was going to go for the D-Dance, too, because I was going to predict the Protect, but there's no point. We have the upper hand right now, but we drop a Revival Blessing. Like I said, one of the coolest new moves in this game. I definitely think it's a game changer, because look at this. I can just go in here, say, Ayo, Bax Caliber. Come back to life. And now he's back to life at half HP. Really, really cool. I love it so much. Waterfall's going to hit here. And the sun's over, so I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about this on Logan. So Waterfall's going to poke here. And then with Palmot, I'm just going to... I'm going to Volt Switch out. Actually, Volt Switch is not very effective. But I still feel like it should be able to KO. It would make the most sense, right? I feel like it should be able to KO. No withdrawal. So he's going to go back into Salamence. He just wants that Intimidate value. I think it's a smart play. And he wants to be able to bring the sun back out. So maybe he'll protect the Logan. I could definitely see a protect coming out from the Logan if he wants to bring the sun back out. Bolt switch can come out here. He does not protect it. And that KO is beautiful. So I'm able to swap. I'm just going to go into Skelliger at this point because if he wants to bring back out the sun, I'm fine with that. Even though I'm going to be not very effective. I just feel like it's a good time to bring out my boy Skelliger. Lovely. Look at this. Now we're back and we have a sweep chance now. Because I revived my Bax Caliber. So we technically have all four of our Pokemon. Which I'm loving. Which I'm loving. But look how whack the camera angle is, yo. The camera angle is so whack. We do a little bit of chip damage. Like, you can barely see Skelliger. And I can't move it or anything. That's just the game. Like, you guys know the game has graphical issues. But he has this Pokemon right here. Mr. Bingle. And, hmm. I could D-Dance from here. I mean, if he gets out the sun, I think this thing gets, like, Protosynthesis or something. But I feel like at this time... You think he's gonna bring out the sun? He might. And I'm intimidated. I don't think that's my play. Oh, if he brings out the sun, you know, we're gonna go straight into. I'm gonna go for D Dance here. Or I could swap into Palmot, which I might do. I think I'm gonna swap into Palmot just so I have Intimidate later. And then on top of this, I'm going to now Terrasilize. And go for a Torch Song. Because if he brings out the heat, I'd rather just get it going like that, right? I'd rather just take this thing out. And if, 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 he, if he doesn't bring out the heat, we still get that plus one on the attack. And now we have Palmont back out here to fake out. Unless he takes us out. So let's see what he does here. He's Terrasilized too. He said, hey, yo, let's get after it. He said, let's get after it. So who's he Terrasilizing here? Okay. Terrasilizing Salamence over here. And this is a... What typing is this thing? It's an electric typing Salamence. Pretty cool. Good thing we swapped in... Yo, we swapped into Palmont. This thing has Volt Absorb. This could be amazing. This could bring our Focus Ash back into action. This could bring our Focus Ash back here. This could be an insanely strong turn for us. That's a good battle, yo. Right now, I've been loving playing these uh these ranked battles in this game. They're a lot of fun. Terra Blast coming in here. We're going to Volt Absorb that. That's huge. That is insane. We love it. it. Does not bring us up fully, but we should be able to soak this up considering we have the Assault Vest. Yeah, all day. Loving it. And we're solid. And we're a uh, solid fire type now, which is cool. So we're in Torch Song now with our Fire Terror type, and that's going to do double damage, which is huge. That's a, that's a nice chunk of damage. That's a nice chunk of damage right there. So from here, I can fake out the Salamence, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to Torch Song again, just to get that special attack boost on top of this. See what he does. He does not protect or anything. We get off that fake out, and he flinches. And this thing's just going to drop a Gleam, which I'm totally cool with. And he's going to take out my Palm Mop. That's totally fine. Hallmark got off a lot of value here, and we're in such a good spot. Such a good spot. Now I go for Torch Song. We get rid of this uh, lovely little mischievous first stage. I forget this thing's name. And on top of that, we are plus two on special attack, which is insanely strong. So we're plus two. He has Torkoal left, which I'm not too worried about. Low on the HP slot. And I could just go into Baxcalibur here, right? Could I just go into Baxcalibur? Hmm. I mean, he's forced to set the heat. So we're going to be doing some big damage. I think we go in the back's caliber. I mean, I could intimidate, actually. That may not bad. But I kind of just want to go in the back's caliber here. Who's faster? We got to see speed. I think we go with whoever's the faster Pokemon. 152 and 146. So they're relatively the same, but I think back's caliber is going to be a play. Actually, I'm going to go Gyarados. Take it back. I take it back. We. I feel like we get a lot of value off this Intimidate. And Torkoal's going to come out here. 
So I feel like from here we just drop. I feel like this is a simple play to drop a uh, torch song and a waterfall because I feel like waterfall should still KO even in the drought. And then torch song, we should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer, right? So I'm just gonna go overheat this time actually because I want to get off as much damage as I possible. Actually, I should go torch song. This torch song will KO. It's plus two. It's in the heat. It's gonna look good. So he's gonna terror blast me. That's fine, he beats. He's gonna actually kill me. Maybe I should have protected that turn. Oh, you go after him, thinking I'm protecting. And again, we soak. That's fine. That's beautiful. I was playing it. Oh, yo, we don't pick up the KO. But I was playing it like my Gyarados outspeeds. But it's all good. Torch Song's gonna fly here. That should say bye bye to him. Plus two on that special attack. We got the drought too. Plus we're terror on the fire. And that's GG's. That is going to be GG's. What a first match for this game. The battles are amazing so far. The battles I've been playing have been so good. They've been long and drawn long and drawn out. Everybody's been playing good. The swaps are there. The reads are there. Everything about it is awesome. But we're just going to waterfall here. We're going to drop a nice little shadow ball. I think our opponent cancels, which he does. Second match coming at you guys. And our first battle went perfectly. We dominated the battle, controlled it at all angles. And it was long and drawn out. So you guys got your guys' money's worth. You go, even though you guys aren't even paying to watch me. <laughs> but we're hopping into our second battle. This guy has a really cool Pokemon. He has that uh, mischievous first stage again. And then he's got the ancient form of Donphan. The ancient form of Salamence. And then he's got a uh, Kilowattle, which might learn Tailwind. That's a really good Pokemon. Weather Control with the Torkoal, which I don't really think he's going to bring. Actually, he might bring considering... Those Pokemon have Photosynthesis. And then he has Tauros over here. So how should I play this one? Do I set up screens or do I go straight into Palmot for a potential fake out turn and kind of go from there? I'm kind of thinking Palmot. I'm kind of thinking Palmot again. I am going to go Palmot. So I'm going to lead Palmot. I might also lead Skeletor. If he's going to set Sun, I wouldn't mind that one bit. Sun could be our friend. I'm going to go Skeletor here. Start to try to boost his special attack with that Torch Song. And then go back Caliber because back Caliber's Beast and Gyarados again? Or Scizor. Hmm. I mean, Scizor doesn't do too good up against the Fire Pokemon, so I'm thinking Gyarados should come in here. I'm thinking Gyarados should definitely come in here. We'll get Grimmsnarl and Scizor into the next battle. But something I ha I did not do with this team because, again, I just wanted to get you guys out a ranked video was change up their terror types. And maybe I should do that in the future. Let me know in the comment section down below, and I can update the rental code for you guys. But I was just trying to build this team as fast as I possibly can, and as good as I possibly can, too, so... We were just grinding, and the one thing I didn't get to was the terror, was changing the terror types. But again, rank doesn't come out to December, so if you guys want me to update the rental code, just let me know in the comment section down below. Well, let's see who he ends up leading. We shall see. It's going to be Roaring Moon and Kilowattle. Nice camera angle we can see through the ground. <laughs> okay. So, obviously, that thing has potential to get in both of them, and this thing is going to Protosynthesis. Boosted energy and it's, it's attacks heightened. Like this is what I'm talking about. Like these things got to be banned. Like it's attacks heightened. That makes no sense, but it's uh stats are the same. It's fine. Okay. Uh, how should I do this one? I should have close combat right into this Roaring Moon, which I'm thinking of doing instead of faking out. Maybe he might protect, and I think I just torch song right into this bird. I feel like protects might come out here, considering we have fake out ready to roll. But I say we just get straight after these Pokemon. He's gonna trash slash right here. He's gonna he's gotta be the roaring moon, right? And what type of you terrestrialize to? Dragon? Please don't be dragon. Beautiful, it's dark. I can get that with dark because this close combat can still do a good amount of damage. He's gonna terrestrialize dark type. Kill watch roll is going to protect. That's fine. And I think what's called is gonna die here. I think Skell is just gonna die, right? Hey, throw chop my No, you're gonna throw chop my boy right here. Yeah, so you're dead, right? Yeah, you're not surviving that. No shot. Like I said, these Pokemon are super, super OP. But we're going to get off a close combat, get off some nice damage onto this dude, and KO him. So I'll take that KO all day. We get rid of the Roaring Moon. He gets rid of my Skeletor. I'm fine with that turn. My defense is down, but I still have my... What's it called? I still have my Focus Ash, so I'm all about it. At this point, we go into Bax Caliber, and we can get rolling into this battle. So I, I don't mind that first turn. Quick first turn. He's going to go into Torkoal here gonna set the sun the sun is kind of scary but at this point um i think i just go for a revival blessing this turn revival blessing my skeleton i'm all about it i'm all about it we'll revival blessing and we'll go into this little ice fang here this kill watchable's defense is eh. i think we ko one shot unless it is sash it could also go for tailwind no it goes for an air slash 
and back to Caliber, or actually Paul Mott's gonna go first. And we revive our Skelger. Big fan of this turn. Big fan of this turn. So Skelger, welcome home. Welcome back, buddy. And then Ice Fang's gonna fly. KO. Oh, is this thing Sash? Don't tell me Sash. It's Sash. Come on now. Come on now. A little bit of Sash action coming out here. Torkoal's gonna drop an Earth Power. We're gonna Sash up here as well. And I'm kinda cool with this turn. I could hard swap too. I could hard swap here. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm thinking of hard swapping just so we could have fake out for another turn. Hard swapping to Skelly? I could go into you. I could definitely go into you. Which I am going to do. I said we save. I said we save it. We don't know who, who he has in the back end. So, you know, I'm just going to go into. I'm going to go into Skeletor here. I'll have Bake Out later, which is going to be good. And then I can go into an Ice Fang again. Or he could protect that Kilowattril. He could definitely protect that Kilowattril. I kind of want to get off some damage onto the Torkoal. Let's see what he does from here. Show me that he's protecting Kilowattril. That could be a solid turn from us, but he might not. No, he goes for the Air Slash. He goes for the KO. My boy's able to eat up, which is good. Dragon Call is going to fly here, chip up some damage, and go from there. I should have just took out the kill watchel. He's going to EP me, and I'm able to eat that. So now he has options. I think we double. Actually, we're going to snarl here like this. And I'm just going to Dragon Call into the slot. Actually, I'll Dragon Call into the kill watchel slot. Because kill watchel is going to go first. And I think he might take out my Skelliger. Let's see. No, it goes after back scalper. So good thing we're snarling here. We'll take out the kill the watchful. We will uh, drop the Torkoal special attack. And the Torkoal cannot swap out after this, which is going to be good. So he can take out my Skelliger here. We will have Palmot and we will have Gyarados ready to roll. And we'll kind of just get going from here. Not a bad battle. Not a bad battle at all. And I still have Terrastal type. I, I might Terrastalize my Gyarados here right in the water to get rid of that Torkoal. That could be solid. That could definitely be solid. But it is coming down to the wire. We have Fake Out ready. I wish I had another Revival Blessing because that would be hilarious. I would just revive my Bax Caliber again and use it later. But let's see. His final Pokemon is going to be Great Tusk. But I'm fine with that. I don't think he has any Electric move. I do not think he has any Electric move. So Palmot's going to fly. I'm all about it. I love me some Palmot. And what do I do here? We Intimidate, which is strong. I think Great Tusk is physical. What do I do with Palmot? This thing's speed was heightened. Don't tell me it outspeeds me like that now. Obviously, I'm going to fake it out. I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm going to double down right into this Pokemon. Am I Terrasalizing right? I am, indeed. I'm going to double down right into the Tusk. I'm doubling down right into the Tusk. I don't think he, I don't think he's going to protect. He could double protect, but we have fake out right away. See what I'm talking about? Like, these abilities, you just drop these Pokemon in the sun, and their stats go crazy. Like... They, they got, they're going to be banned. I'm telling you guys right now. They're going to be banned. Hands down. Fake out comes out here. He does not protect. This is pretty big for us. And we are going to be able to drop a nice, lovely waterfall. And get after this uh, this Pokemon right here. That's solid. That's solid. How much damage? Decent damage in the, in the sun. And Torkoal's going to drop an Earth Power and pick up the KO that way. Sun end? Sun should be ending very soon. If sun can end, we can get buzz near. Show me sun ends. If Sun ends in one more turn, we can actually protect this one out. It does, so I'm just going to protect this one out. I'll protect, waste out the Sun, be able to take out the Tusk next turn, and then go from there. We'll see what move this thing's rolling. No no electric moves, right? Heads, but ooh. I mean, we're straight water type now, so that, that works good, pretty good for us. This thing's just going to flamethrower me. I'm fine with that. It's a good thing we did have Terrestrialization, because now I think we should be able to eat up this Head Smash. The Sun's gone. We'll get rid of the Great Tusk. And we'll roll from there. I think Gyarados might outspeed now. Nope, he doesn't. Let's see. We're able to eat half. That's beautiful for us. He's going to take some recoil. I think we have this match in the bag. So great protect from us to take out the sun. We should be able to pick up the KO no problem now. Yep, see you later. And I don't think the circle can take us out. Right? It's minus one on special attack. It probably only has flamethrower to attack us. Yeah, and we're going to be able to eat up like three of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy soaks. Easy soaks. Waterfall's going to poke. We saved our Terrastalization for a perfect time, and we're going to use it to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Waterfall flies, double damage, Torkoal, get on out of my game. We're sitting at 2-0. Let's hop to our third and final battle and look for a perfect record.
Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for our first Scarlet and Violet video. We're going up against a Miascarada team or Miasca Raid team, however you want to pronounce it, with Magnezone, Indeedee, who is going to be a strong Pokemon in doubles, Gyarados, Dragonite, and then he's got the future form of Glee. I don't really know what it does. Again, some of these Pokemon, I have no clue. But Skelger is going to be a solid little Pokemon in this battle. I feel like Grimmsnarl is going to be good as well. So I'm going to actually lead the Grimmsnarl. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl, and I might go Skelger. Grimmsnarl, Skelger? A little lead action? Or do I go Baxcalibur for lead? I feel like either or could be good. I kind of like Skelliger, but I'm kind of scared of the Gyarados. Gyarados could be a problem. Do I want to go Baxcalibur instead? I kind of like Baxcalibur because it does have clear amulet. So yeah, I'm going to go Baxcalibur. I'm going to go Skelliger. And I'm going to bring Scissor in as our final Pokemon. Get a little bit of Scissor action in this third and final battle. And Scissor looks insanely good with these graphics. Not saying the graphics are good. We all know that the graphics have some problems and there's some graphical issues in the game, but they did one thing right, and that was make Scissor look insanely good. Like, he's really glossy. He has a nice, like, shell sh cell shading with him. It just looks insanely good. But he's going to end up leading this Gallade with this, oh my god, it has like a samurai kind of double sword. Look at that thing. It looks insane. And then he also has Indeedy with that. Okay. Uh, Reflector Latrine, I think, I would guess that thing's physical attacking, so I think I'm just going to set up that. I might just dragon. Dragon Call. Oh, this thing's fairy? Is this thing fairy? Hold up. Can I check, like, the info on this thing? Let me see. Check target. No, that would just be team. What type are you? You're fairy and biting? Oh! Oh! Uh. That leads me to want to just, like, hard swap my, uh... Actually, we'll protect. I'm gonna protect my Baxcalibur. Actually, no. We're gonna swap him. Right into the skizzy. Right into the skizzy here. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. Fighting a fairy? Ooh. I don't like that. And indeed, he's going to scare me here. But look how good Scissor looks. Scissor looks insanely good. He's going to drop some follow me's. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. We'll see what he wants to do. Probably drop a fairy move, right? I'll set up a beautiful reflect for the team. And he's going to drop a moon blast. He's going to drop a moon blast. So at this point, I know it's special attacking. I can just lay screen. I'll have screen set up and I could just X scissor across because he's gonna follow me, so I might as well X scissor, right? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we know this thing's special attacking now because it's dropped a nice little moon blast. And of course this thing helping hands. I would have just bullet punched that thing. I would have just ripped into that. That screen's gonna set up and hopefully he's going after Grimstrong with that moon blast. I think that's definitely an option for it. And close combat me. Oh, eat that up. Good work. Good work, Skizzy. Defense is gonna drop low. And we're going to be able to get off a nice little X scissor here. Send it. Big time damage. Big time damage, scissor. Big time damage, scissor. We love it. So scissor coming in hot here. Like I said, he looks insanely good. Look at look how sick he looks. He looks so slick. So cool. Everything about him looks insane. Just to, like, dude, like, just look at the top of his head. Even though the camera angle is whack right now, he's just looking too good. He's looking way too good. So he's gonna go into Gyarados next. Ah, uh, that's gonna intimidate me. I mean, I'm fine with that. I think I might just paralyze him at this point. He could be buried, but I feel like we could still drop this thing with a bullet punch. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go Thunder Wave here. Paralyze that Pokemon and just straight up bullet punch right into this thing. Get off as much damage as I possibly can before Scissor goes out. Because you know one of these Pokemon are taking up my Scissor. Oh, plus this Gallade's defense is down. So if he's not protecting, I think this bullet punch has a chance to KO. Let's see. B punch comes out here. Oh, let's go, dude. I told you guys. What did I say in the beginning? I think Scissor is going to be top tier in this in this game. And he is, dude. He's so good. Without Dynamax, this thing is insanely strong. We Thunder Wave the Gyarados. This Grimstone is great on the support side as well. And maybe he'll be paralyzed and miss a turn. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. The, the Pokey guys were like, yo, Jeans, you're going to have a good day today. First recording of this game, you can have, you can have a 3-0 record. We're dominating. It's too easy. Way too easy. He's going to throw out Dragonite. And guess what we're going to do, guys? We're going to say, hey, yo, take a Paralyze. Take a Paralyze. How you doing? How you doing? You want to Paralyze? Everybody gets a Paralyze. We're just going to straight up Bullet Punch into it as well because, again, this thing's going to go down. But he cancels battle, and we get a sweep in battle number three. This might have been the most fun I have ever had recording a competitive battles videos for you guys. I had a blast playing with this team today, 
playing the new Scarlet and Violet format and just winning three battles in a row. We got the Skellager out there in a few battles. Paul Mott was crazy good for Fake Out and Revival Blessings. Bax Calibur is just an absolute beast. You guys got to see the power of Grimmsnarl and Scissor in battle number three. And then Gyarados all around is just phenomenal with Intimidate. But like I said, guys, if you guys have rental codes for me, make sure you guys head them, get them over to me either through my Twitter or through the comments down in the YouTube comment section down below. But if you guys want to rent the scene, rental codes at the top right hand corner. If you do end up using it, let me know how you guys do with it because I absolutely love this team right here. Been having a blast with it. I only have to change up the terror types and then this team could be perfectly good for rank usage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.